you can't wish anybody short life and they will say amen. Long blessed life is good. Abraham was old and sick in age. The Lord had blessed him in everything. In everything. In everything. In everything. There's no point in holding to go to heaven. We are going to be there forever. Praise God. God has a covenant of long life with his people. Because he has set his love upon me, with long life will I satisfy him. Welcome to Apostle TV. The message you are about to watch will definitely transform your life. Be blessed as you watch. Today is a covenant day of long life. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the things that are gone forth out of my lips. Psalm 89 verse 34. Except you can break my covenant of the day and of the night. That there should not be day and night in their season. Then may also my covenant be broken with David my servant. That I should not have a son to reign upon his throne. And we deliver it. The priests, my ministers. That means my covenant with the redeemed. It's as binding as my covenant with the day and with the night. You know, we have been redeemed unto God as priest and king who shall reign on the earth. What happens is what we make happen by where we stand in the world, the word of God. What will never happen is also by reason of where we are standing against the dictates of the world. Everybody wishes one another on bad days, long life and um, prosperity. You can't wish anybody short life and they will say amen. Long blessed life is good. Abraham was old and sick in age. The Lord had blessed him in everything. In everything. In everything. In everything. In everything. There's no point in holding to go to heaven. We are going to be there forever. Praise God. God has a covenant of long life with his people. Because he has set his love upon me, with long life will I satisfy him. <laughs> Keep your love for God aflame. Let it be with proofs. Prove the sincerity of your love at all times as a way of life. Paul was a mad lover of Christ. He went to heaven as Paul the aged. Paul the aged. Philemon chapter 1 is only one chapter and verse 9. Paul the aged. Paul, he cheated death several times. Paul the aged. How? Paul the lover. <laughs> Paul the lover of God ended his journey here as Paul the agent. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he's not my name. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. So when you say, we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, that's part of the things. Long life works for those who love him. May your love for God never fail. May your love for God keep rising in temperature. May God remain the delight of your soul for life. Can I hear your loudest amen? Now, money can't buy long life is one of the vital products of the covenant. Number two, thou shalt serve the Lord thy God and he shall bless. <laughs> and the number of your days he will fulfill. Keep serving God. Kingdom still worship is an open-ended platform. 
Anna was serving God on the prayer altar. We, we can't tell when she left. But we know when she was 84. Praise God. Hallelujah. But serving God prolongs life. Serving God in truth and in deed prolongs life. You that have no money, come and buy it. There's nothing to do about it. I mean, loving God, you don't pay for it. <laughs> I mean, serving God does not require that you have suit <laughs> or shoes. No. Now, if they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity. So they don't go down by reason of age. You don't go down because you're getting older. Abraham never went down. It's long life with long lasting blessings. Long life with long lasting blessings. Long life with long lasting blessings. Genesis 24 and verse 1. The Bible said Abraham was old and sick in age. And the Lord had blessed him in all things. All things. The Lord had blessed him in all things. The Lord had blessed him in all things. The Lord had blessed him in all things. The Lord has blessed him in all things. That's how sweet that covenant is. And when you get into it consciously, get into it productively, fruitfully, you have committed God. So there are people in here today you will remember today for many years to come. That serving God in truth and in deed prolonged days. Serving God in truth and in deed does not prolong sufferings, but increasing blessings. Increasing blessings after the order of Abraham. Abraham went home at 175. And the Lord blessed him till the end of his life. Till the end of his life. And Psalm 105 verse 42, he remembered his promise to Abraham, his servant. For he remembered his holy promise and Abraham, his servant. Abraham, his servant. Abraham, his servant. Stand in the way and see and ask for the old path. Where is the good way? We are in our father's war. And walk in it and you find rest for your souls. They say, we're not walking it. We're smarter than that. It's a new age. Over to you. Isaiah 41 and verse 6. It talks about Isaiah 41 and verse 6. Of verse 8, sorry. But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, who have love, have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. And love is the cord of friendship. Abraham, my friend. James 2, 23, he called him his friend. Called Abraham his friend. And the scripture was fulfilled. That which said Abraham believed God and it was imputed unto him as righteousness and he was called the friend of God. The friend. The friend of God. So be in love with God. Get us satisfied with long life. With long life will I satisfy him. He tells are you satisfied when village boys eat? They ask them, are you satisfied? They say no. Even when the told me it's like this. <laughs> they want more. He like, can say, I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied. Okay, you get 15 years more. Everyone appointed to death here is liberated finally today. <laughs> Everyone appointed to death in this service today and who are connected online, wherever you may be in the world, 
you are set free today. You are liberated today. In the precious name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. Now let's run through the step-by-step -step access to benefiting from this covenant. The following the demands of the covenant of longevity. Number one, be born again, which makes you a seed of Abraham. And an extension of Abraham a blessing. If you be Christ, then you're Abraham's seed, and he has according to the promise. And he has according to the promise. Galatians 3 29. Be born again. No assumption. Except the man is born again, he cannot see what is in stock for him in the kingdom. And as far as your eyes can see, it shall be given to you. Be born again is number one step to every covenant of scriptures. New birth. Number two, stay in love with God. Not be in love. Stay in love with God. Which is the great commandment of the Lord? Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart with all thy soul, with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. The second is like unto it. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Upon these two commandments hang all the laws and the prophets. All the covenants of scriptures deliver on that platform. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. So stay in love with God. Stay in love with God. Every true lover of God ends up a beneficiary of the covenant of longevity. Stay in love with God. We saw it in Abraham. We saw it in Paul. Stay in love with God. Why do I say stay? I mean, the man Solomon was in love with God and stepped out of being in love with God and calamities began to come. Stay in love with God. Stay in love with God. Let your love for God be unconditional. And then he begins to lavish you with all of his blessings. Number three, remain committed to serving God and Jesus' kingdom as a lifestyle. Remain committed remain committed and among the blessings in return is the number of your days he will fulfill he will step in and ensure no devil terminates your life he will step in Stay free from the fear of death. Why? Jesus has destroyed him that had the power of death, death that is the devil. So as to deliver all of us who might be in the fear of death all our lifetime. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 and 15. Stay free from the fear of death. It's like a fear of shadows. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is the devil. And deliver them who through the fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Stay free. And me that was dead, he announced. Revelation 1 18. And behold, I'm alive and I live forevermore. And I have, I have, I have, not the devil. I have the keys of hell and of death. Jesus has the key, not the devil. 
The devil has no power to terminate your life. Jesus has the key of hell and of death in his hand. So your life is safe. Amen. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Isaiah 49 verse 24 to 26. Or a lawful captive deliver? But thus said the Lord, even the captive of the temple shall be set free. For I will contend with them that contend with you, and I will save your children. I'll feed them with their own flesh. They wanted to eat your own, I'll feed them with their own flesh. And get them drunk with their own blood. That's God. So I mean what I say, and I say only what I mean. The good news is, no one here is permitted to die young. Just keep doing those things. Jealously guard your salvation. Jealously guard your love for God. Jealously guard your commitment to serving his interests. Some guys here who want to distract your attention, leave them to themselves. They wanted to disconnect Elisha from Elijah. He said, no, I know where I'm going. When he came back, they bowed down and worshipped us. There is always the realm of mockery before the realm of glory. Jesus despised the shame. Amen. Amen. And see him now said, I don't know, majesty on high. Who for the Jordan was said before him? Despise the shame. And is now said, the right hand of majesty on high. Somebody was given towards uh, transportation. Another person who is also a believer. So remember the choice is enough. That's too much. Are you the only one? <laughs> okay, what's your problem? The husband said, oh, that's a very good thing. The wife said, that's what the Lord told me. Okay, what's your own case there? Who invited you? You know, just find people just roaming about. I'm not giving to the cause of the gospel. I'm a gift to the gospel. Me, the, be, the whole me. <laughs> Somebody say, what's your ambition? I say, ambition. <laughs> it's a long time I had that word. Ambition or achievement. I don't believe in it. I believe in engagement. You can't be anything by any effort of yours. Yes. You can only be what grace, the grace of God makes you to be. Yes. You can't be anything, anything. I can't be anything except by the grace of God. Paul said, I'm what I am by the grace of God. Yes. When you stop acknowledging that grace, you start suffering this grace. Mm -hmm. It comes down, you see, I screwed in Harvard. And so what? <laughs> I don't know those who screwed in Harvard and I'm, I'm mad. Insanity. What, what, what are you coming about? I've been in 20 nations. Well, you're a good traveler. Keep going, there are more nations. There are more nations to be. You see, the moment you start counting on your skill, you have killed your future. Hmm. Count on his grace, my friend. Yes. What have you that you have not received? What have you that you have not received? What have I that I have not received? That's what keeps a man going with God, knowing that you are worth nothing. He said, without me, you can do what? Nothing. nothing. Without me, you can do nothing. People just over celebrate themselves only to end their captivity. You not suffer such in your life. Can I hear your loudest amen? Can I hear your loudest amen? The good news is death, untimely death, has lost the battle over your life. Untimely death has lost the battle over your life. Anything you refuse to fear cannot befall you. Death does not merit your fear. He through death destroyed him. The hard, hard, H A D, used to have, that's the meaning, the power of death. So as to deliver you and me by spiritual understanding of this truth. You cannot be in bandage again through the fear of death. Can I hear you, amen? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
be committed to a life of joy and rejoicing. Be committed to a life of joy and rejoicing because longevity is a function of strength. Amen. Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10. And be not sorry for yourself. For the joy of the Lord shall be your strength. Joy is a covenant therapy for sound health. Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 22. A merry heart dwell good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dried the bones. Don't break your strength. Be committed to a life of joy and rejoicing. You are still in heavenly places. They laugh there. They don't bemoan there. So maintain your laughter, your holy laughter. You're laughing at the devil. You lost it all. Satan, you lost it. You think I don't know? You lost it all. All powers in heaven and on earth is now in the hand of Jesus. Including the key of hell and of death. Stop that harassment. Not here. Not here. Not here. Not here. Maintain a life of joy and rejoicing for increasing strength which elongates days. David said, three score and ten, a number of our years, if by reason of strength, it be 80 or 100. By reason of strength, it can be anything. By reason of strength, it can be anything. If there's no strength, we'll be the one even praying that I, I should go now. And joy and rejoicing helps to maintain increasing strength in our system. Thank you, Jesus. May everything that conscious joy be far away from your life. You have three channels of access to joy. Number one, salvation. They call it the joy of salvation. It's one of the fruits of the spirit. So when you are born again, one of the proofs of your regenerated spirit is joy. Galatians 5.22 Psalm 51 and verse 12 Return to me the joy of thy salvation. Number two, you are baptized in the Holy Ghost. And when the Holy Ghost came, they thought they were drunken. They were just out of this world. Kind of joy that erupted from them. They said this must be drunken. No, they were not. They were filled with the Holy Ghost. And you are baptized in the Holy Ghost, so you have that deposit of joy on your inside. For the kingdom of God is not in word and in drink, but in joy in the Holy Ghost. Joy, joy, joy in the Holy Ghost. It's a star of joy. The Holy Ghost is a star of joy. And then number three channel. Thy words were found and I did eat them. And thy words became the joy and rejoicing of my heart. Jeremiah 15 and verse 16. It became the joy and rejoicing of my heart. So you don't have any space for sorrow. When you are born again, the joy of salvation is there. Now you are filled with the Holy Ghost, the joy of the Holy Ghost is there. And then you are feeling on the world, the joy of revelation is there. Can I hear your amen? I therefore pray that beginning from today, your life will never suffer drainage of joy anymore. And now we are involved in serving God. The cemetery return with joy. You are going after souls. You are, you are, you are just, uh, you are fired off for joy. The same thing is done with joy. You know why? There's joy in heaven. Who wants to that repent? So when you push three souls there, my God, and then what to soul you reap? So you push this heavenly joy back to you. Watch every genuine soul winner is ever joyful. It's ever joyful. Pressing for kingdom advancement stimulates joy. From this day onward, nobody will have any reason to ask you again what is wrong. Amen. Your look will no longer be wrong. Amen. Your speech will no longer be wrong. Yes. 
the joy of the Lord will permeate every aspect of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is your day. This is your day. This is your day. Whenever challenge, finally, take up the shield of faith to quench all the fiery dust of the devil. I know whom I believed. You can't harass me. Stop there. Take up the shield of faith and you quench all the fiery darts of the devil. Take up the shield of faith. Whenever you are challenged or confronted by the spirit of death, take up the shield of faith. Push out the word of life that you got. <coughs> Declare boldly and God will confirm it openly. Declare boldly and God will confirm it openly. In the name of Jesus Christ. We have this book titled Fulfilling Your Days. And let me tell you the history of that book. It first came out as power over death. People were scared. <coughs> because death has power as far as they are concerned. So, long life your heritage. That's okay. But it's softer, like saying fulfilling your days. <laughs> That's how I traveled. I did a seminar on which over death, 1983, and death came to try me out. The seminar concluded, and then I was going to make a trip, and then this foul spirit entered the room. The place was turning. Inside me, Satan, you lie. Hallelujah. You lie. <laughs> I know what I was saying. I got that lie from God. Satan, you lie. My wife will be able to tell the story of what happened. Everybody was running up and down. I was arrested. And then a voice from inside. Amen. Any revelation truly received enters your spirit man. Enters where? Spirit man. And my spirit man just said from inside, what are you doing here? I don't know too. I stood up, went to the bedroom, had my shower, traveled. Same day. Same. Same day. Same day. So receive the truth in your spirit, man. Don't just be one person regarding things to go and teach others. Get it first for yourself. He said, take it to thyself and then to all the floor. Get it for yourself. Get it for yourself. I've had some good time with death. In his attempts, he has, he's tired. Very tired. Tire him out. You are what it takes to tire him out. Get the word into your spirit, man, and stand with it. You are going to be there. Can I hear your amen? amen. <laughs> Anyone now on any hospital bed, they have given you the verdict of death, but that verdict is now reverted. <laughs> you are in your home. I'm waiting for the date they set for you. I'm saying no. God's date is superior yes. to the one they set. Therefore, be loose in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Every terminal disease represented under this service today is rooted out of your body. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Every time you identify a covenant, reach out for the terms of that covenant and keep engaging with the terms. We serve a covenant keeping God. He will never back out of his word. He will never back out of his word. He will never back out of his word. Expect your packet to be delivered. Expect your packet to be delivered. <laughs> Acts chapter 20, as we close, verse 32, he said, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, who is able to build you up and deliver to your inheritance among them that are sanctified. So we pick our inheritance from the world. Our inheritance is only accessible and deliverable through the world. 
accessible and deliverable only through the word. So your package of longevity is hereby delivered. I say, it's hereby delivered. It is hereby delivered. No one here will ever bury any of their children. You'll never bury any of your grandchildren. Your family is now declared a family of longevity. It shall be said of your line, they don't die young there. In the name of Jesus. Well, I know there's a lot of medication around the world, but there's no medication for long life. Mm -mm. Amen. <laughs> what they do in hospital to give death certificate. This is the end. <laughs> Amen. But your God has an agenda. To satisfy you with long life. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him from the hand of the wicked. I will deliver him from the hand of the wicked. And so shall it be for you. <laughs> Lift up a right hand and give God thanks. Give God thanks for the world. Give God thanks for the world. Give God thanks for light. A revival is not a religious activity. It's a platform for a change of story. It's a platform for supernatural advancement. It's a beautiful platform for our restoration. Give God thanks, everybody. In Jesus' precious name we are praying.